Okay, it is so windy here today. I'm in my greenhouse because I couldn't even hear myself talking over the wind outside. And you will hear this thing rattle a little bit. It is very super windy today. And my husband's doing some work, so you might hear the saw and a little kind of annoying, but I'm sorry. Today's just one of those days I have to get things done and I wanted to share what I do to help you guys out. I'm planting peas today, just your basic peas. I've got some sugar snap peas, some Alaska peas, and then I've got these really cool green arrow bush peas, which I grew a couple last year and I wanna grow a lot more this year. But I wanna talk about what I do to get my bed ready to make it easier when it comes to gardening itself. Now I have probably about 14 beds, not including the raised beds, that I till the ground in, till beds. Um, and I always start with my last bed first. And what I mean by that is I will till this bed, till bed number one, and then I'll move down and till all the rest of them. And then I start planting backwards. So by the time I get back to this one, all my peas are done. They're already planted with peas, brassicas, whatever. And I pull those as I replace them with tomatoes and peppers and beans and stuff like that. So it just makes it easier because then you're not struggling to try to get those seed starts in the ground somewhere when there's already plants that are still producing. So work yourself backwards so that you can actually, you know, pull the plants when they're done. And by then all my peas will be done. So I'm going to go put all these peas in the ground in a minute, but I want to tell you how I do that. This is something that is absolutely wonderful for people with disabilities. Maybe you have back issues. Maybe you're pregnant. Maybe you just don't want to sit and squat and bend over 10,000 times. Or, you know, it just makes it easier. It's just one simple little trick. Get yourself a piece of PVC pipe. It doesn't matter the width or anything. You just want, you know, a good one inch, two inch piece of pipe and get yourself some sort of stick. And you're gonna poke holes in the ground and walk over with that PVC pipe and drop the seeds down. Now, I don't recommend it with small seeds. I do this with large seeds. I do this with beans, with corn, with peas, sunflower seeds, things of that nature especially when you're doing large amounts, it just saves your back and your legs and your thighs and you know all that pain that you end up with from working so hard. So I'm gonna take you out of the garden. It's gonna be super windy. I'm probably gonna to have to scream over the wind, but I wanna demonstrate and show you. This is honestly the easiest way ever to plant anything in the ground direct sowing, ever, I, I promise. And you can use it in raised beds as well. Just shorten your pipe so that you know, you know, the length that you need for the area that you're planting in, you can sit in a chair and drop these, no problem. But again, I just do this with my large seeds, not my small ones. So I'm gonna head out there and show you how it's done. All right, again, it's very windy, I apologize, but I've got a PVC pipe and I like to make mine at least shoulder height. But you know, you can see it's broken on the end. I ran it over at the lawnmower one time, it's fine. Still works, a PVC pipe. And then this is an old handle to a hoe that broke and instead of getting rid of it, I just use it to poke holes. I'm gonna bring you in closer to the dirt and I can actually show you how the system works. Because I'm telling you, it's the easiest way to do it and I don't think you'll direct sow by hand anymore unless you start using this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to my trellis and I'm just gonna poke a couple holes. The depth that I need for my pea seeds, which is just about half an inch. And then I just take the end of the PVC pipe and lay it at an angle and I drop the seeds down. Now the cool part is that one didn't quite make it, but I can just push it into the hole and then just cover it up with the PVC pipe. No bending required, nothing like that. And I can move all the way down this line on both sides and get all these peas put in. Okay, so on an extremely windy day, I had full control of my seeds because they weren't blowing away in the wind. But I use that PVC pipe, I poke those holes. I got 100 plants put in the ground in 14 minutes. I completely fill this trellis on both sides up and down. So please try it out. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it because I'm telling you it is so much easier. My back doesn't hurt, my knees aren't sore, my hands aren't dirty, my knees aren't dirty. I'm just, you know, it's easy. Little simple things like this can help you garden a lot better. And I apologize again for the wind, but I just wanna give you a couple facts about peas. One, you need to keep them really nice and wet. They like to have that moist soil to be able to sprout correctly. So make sure you come out and you give them watering daily almost until they begin to sprout. And then just keep an eye on your soil. You'll see, it'll need some water here and there. But peas also love to hold hands with their buddies. So where you put your peas in, 
you want their branches to intertwine and hold hands. You want to see them kind of forming a full wall and not like big spaced out plants. They will thrive and do better if they know they're not alone. And so yeah, give them a little bit closer planting and let them touch. They love that. My bees always do excellent when I give them the space to touch and not the space to stay apart. So with that being said, thank you guys for stopping by. I'm going to head in and get some stuff done, but I will see you in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment and give me that thumbs up, people. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.